find the axis of symmetry and the vertex. And you're given the function y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 7. And you're given the following choices. Now at this time, I'd like you to please stop, pause this video, and try this problem out for yourself. Or at least generate an idea of how you'd like to figure out this problem. The vertex is the highest or lowest point on a parabola. It is a point with an x and y coordinate. So right now, I'm going to draw a couple of parabolas for you below. And the parabola has a U shape. And again, we're looking for the vertex, the highest or lowest point. So right now, I'm going to shade in the vertex on all these parabola. And looking at the first two parabola, you see that the highest point is the vertex. And on the next two parabola, we have a lower point. It is the lowest point. And let's not forget, the vertex is a point, meaning it's found on an x-y plane. It's found with a coordinate. So the vertex lies on the graph, and it lies at the point 5, 7 in this particular example that I've drawn. So whenever you talk about a vertex, you're going to get an x-coordinate, and you're going to get a y-coordinate. Now, the axis of symmetry is the line that passes through the vertex and divides the parabola into two equal parts. So here are a couple of parabolas, all U-shaped, like always. And again, we're looking for the axis of symmetry, which passes through the vertex. So let's identify the vertex. And the axis of symmetry is a line that passes through the vertex. So here we're going to draw some lines straight through the vertex. And now if you take a look at all of the examples, all of the parabolas are divided in half. So now let's go back to the original function. y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 7. And the question that was given to us was to find the axis of symmetry. In finding the axis of symmetry, you're going to want your function to be in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which matches up to the function that was given to us. And to find the axis of symmetry, you're going to use the following formula. x equals negative b divided by 2 times a. That is your formula for finding the axis of symmetry. And with this formula, you want to find the value of A and you want to find the value of B. Now A is going to be the coefficient of the variable squared. So here you have A and the coefficient of the variable squared is negative 2. Therefore A equals negative 2. And our B value B is found in front of the variable raised to the first power. So if you take a look, you have 12x, and 12 will be our value for B. And because it's a formula, now we're going to do a simple plug-in by plugging these values into the formula. x equals negative 12 divided by 2 times negative 2. That's negative 12 divided by negative 4, which will equal 3. x equals 3. 
And now we found the axis of symmetry, which is the number three. And we've solved half of our question. Let's go to the second question, which is to find the vertex. What is the vertex? And don't forget, the vertex is a point with an X and Y coordinate. And the axis of symmetry is actually the X coordinate of the vertex. I'm going to say that again. The axis of symmetry is actually the X coordinate of the vertex. So as we see, our axis of symmetry that we solved for was three. So all we're going to do is plug in the axis of symmetry into the X spot. Now to find the Y coordinate, plug the value X, which is three into the function and solve. Again, our function was y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 7. And our x, and our x value is 3. So that's the value that we're going to plug in for x in our given function. Here you see 3 is going to be plugged into the first x squared. And plugged into the second x, x to the first power. We can rewrite that out as y equals negative 2 times 3 to the second power plus 12 times 3 minus 7. Moving forward, don't forget order of operations. So you get y equals negative 2 times 9 plus 36 minus 7. Gives us y equals 11. Therefore, 11 is our y coordinate. And let's not forget our x coordinate, which is 3, was the axis of symmetry, which we've already solved for. And let's go back to our original problem. Axis of symmetry is 3, and the vertex is 311.